Hi everyone, now we'll talk about Angular 19 file and folder structure. So when we create any Angular application, uh, it has some files and folder, here you can see that. And if you want to learn Angular quickly and in detail, then you must need to understand three things. First one, use of these files. Second one, folder structure. Third one is code flow. And these three things we will understand in this part. And I'll categorizing uh, these files and folder in two category first one which is very important for beginners and freshers second one which is not so much important for the beginners even I let you know about each and every file but still am categorizing and I let you know which file is very important and which file is not so much important all right so now let's move on the points first we'll understand important files for to learn angular second one uh, there are some files which is not related to the angular but they are still in the uh, project for example git ignore uh, editor configuration and third one you can say that a readme file so if you delete these files still your project will smoothly work there will be no impact at all uh, but still i like to know about these files also all right then we'll go through the uh, code flow like which file will execute first and which is the entry point and all after that, we'll understand the folder structure and at last we will uh, discuss some important interview questions. Alright, okay. So first of all, let's move to the most important file of your Angular project, which is package.json. This file uh, has all details about your project, like project name, project version. Yes, like Angular has version, React has version. Similarly, you can also provide versions to your project. For example, initially you can make it uh, version 1. Then if you will add some more feature, then you can just give version 2. After adding some more features, you can say that 2.4. Uh, if you are fixing some bugs, then you can just uh, add the minor version and all, right? So with this way, you can add your version also. Then there are scripts. Scripts are the commands which use for run your project, build, test your project and all. Then there are two types of dependencies. You can say that normal dependencies and dev dependencies. So these are the, you can say that packages which are used in your project. Most of them are Angular and there are some other projects also like Karma, Karma TypeScript and these things. But you usually you can say that these dependencies and dev dependencies are important to run your Angular application. And if you want to add some more features, then you can add more dependencies more these package externally also with the help of npm command and these packages are actually stored in the node modules inside these all right after that there is a file uh, tsconfig.js and we know that in angular we use a uh, typescript right and this file is basically used to configuration of your typescript what kind of configuration we can uh, do there for example where our output file will be stored there will be strict mode or not strict mode will will basically tell like when you will uh, use some code so it should be like perfectly fine or we can ignore some things so if strict mode is true then there is a no chance to ignore uh, some points otherwise if this is false then maybe some points we can ignore related to the types and all all right and uh, there is a target also like uh, which ECMAScript version you want to target there like ECMAScript 6 7 8 these uh, all we have version right so that we can mention so the TypeScript related configuration we have there so related to TypeScript configuration we have one more file which is tsconfig.app.json so what is the difference between these these two files even the both files are basically used for type configuration so typescript configuration will configure the complete project right but tsconfig.app actually configure your source folder only right even uh, this uh, tsconfig.app.json file actually inheriting the main file also but still this is basically used to configure the source folder only uh, but if you want to write some code outside to this folder source folder then uh, this configuration can be done inside the tsconfig.js after that there is a one more file which is tsconfig.spec.js so this is basically used to configure your typescript for test cases so don't think like uh, testing is only done by uh, testers only right 
so there are some test cases that is done and written by the developers and uh, when we run these test cases they can also catch the errors uh, but if you are not aware about the test cases don't worry uh, in, at the last of this series we will write some test cases i'll let you know how you can test your application with the uh, your code right see this is not the automation this is the automation is the completely different thing this is the unit test cases right so when we write the unit test cases and we want to configure uh, typescript that time we use basically this file okay after that there is a one more file even this is not so much important but still i am telling you which is readme.md so there you can write some instructions like how purpose of you can say that describe your project and describe your code so if you are following some specific standard or if you want to give some guideline to the developers then these things you can mention there all right even this file is not so much important if you will delete there will be no impact on the code after that there is a file package log.json which is very similar sound to the package.json but there is a huge difference second first one is if you will delete package.json file your project will not work right uh, but if you delete uh, package log.json your project will still perfectly work fine there is a no issue at all second thing a uh, package log file is basically automatically generated by the npm and it store the exact version whatever package you have so you will say like whatever version is mentioned there that we will use only right so what is the meaning of exact version uh let me give you an example so here you can see that angular common its version is 19 0.0 but there is a cap here you can see that that means if you will install there 19.0.1 it will perfectly work fine there will be no issue at all right but uh, like there is we are we are mentioning like it should be above than 19.0.0 right but what actually version is installed in the node module that detail will carry by the package log.json file all right okay so the next thing is angular.json file so this will carry the configuration of your project not related to the typescript 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 related uh, configuration is done in the ts config.json these are the your project configuration uh, for example uh, here you can say that where is our source code inside the source folder inside this then what is the root like there is a no root folder if we have for example maybe project like this right so that will understand this is my uh, where is my project inside the project folder but now this is the only root that means we have the all of our project on the root after that which uh, html file will execute first which uh, typescript file will execute first and where we will store the style where we will keep our assets and all everything is mentioned there right so like typescript config for typescript configuration we have ts config.app.json so your project related configuration is done inside this file okay so next one is git ignore so this is related to the git if you are not aware about git then you can completely ignore it but basically what it it will do uh, on the git we can store our code right uh, you can see that in a very basic term we can store our code on the git and let's say if you don't want to push any folder or file to the git then you can mention there for example we never push node modules to the uh, gitlab or you can say that uh, your git so that's we, we just mentioned there like uh, this folder should not be pushed on the uh, store uh, on the git right okay so this is basically used for that then editor editor configuration so this is basically tell like what should be your editor configuration like what characters we will use indentation how many space we have to give everything is there again if you will delete there it will not make any so much impact okay so the next thing is src so inside the src we write the code uh, for our project for feature outside this we basically don't recommend to write uh, any code related to our project right project means features for example you want to show something uh, let me just display there yeah so whatever we want to uh, see on the display right the all code should be inside the source folder outside to this folder either they will be automatically generated or, or or either they should be related to some kind of configuration right okay so now inside this we have index.html file and keep in mind 
this is the first entry point of your application this is a first file which execute so let me show you where this is getting used so here you can see that angular 19 2 so this is the title and this coming from there so if i just put there code step by step so that will be visible there here you can see that right so this is the first file which execute on the uh, your code right on browser you can see that after that yeah and keep in mind so there are two uh, things which is uh, uh, you can see that entry points so for html index.html uh, html is the entry point and for typescript main main.ts is the actually entry point entry point means in the case of ts main.ts will execute first and in case of html index.html will execute first right and this file main.ts will tell which component or which folder we have to display first on this screen so here you can see that this is loading app component so this app component is loaded by there so let's say you have two folder there app component app and user and you want to load the user first not this one then there you can mention user component and that will be loaded there right so main.ts file will decide which folder will or which, which component will be loaded first all right and if you are not aware, aware about component don't worry in the upcoming part we'll understand like what is this app uh, and uh, what is component how we can create everything i let you know and style dot uh, css uh, this is auto you can say that self understandable because we write this style only after that we have the another folder which is public so in this public folder we can uh, keep our public data for example icons fonts and um, any image that is not private or secret right we can keep this kind of data in the public folder after that node modules so this basically keep all the packages all the libraries which we installed in our project so initially these are the lots of uh, you can say that packages they need a uh, angular by default right so we haven't installed any any package till now so there are so many packages but angular uh, use them internally so these are the by default installed after that there are two more folders angular and vs code so here you can see that the cache kind of things we are storing there right so they are not so much important so you can leave them for now okay so i hope you got to know uh, what is the use of these files and folder if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section for interviews uh, most important thing they can ask what is the use of package.json and second thing they can ask what is the difference between dependencies and dev dependencies and i'll let you know in the upcoming part of this answer thank you so much for watching this part please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment section and this is my paytm and google pay for donation thanks guys